Today's a good day, and it's Wilgon Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and the Wilgons do come out. Show and tell, baby. So, for a lot of my viewers out there, you already know this is the 686 Plus. Meaning in seven shot revolver. Beautiful. 357. I already made an unboxing video of this like several weeks ago. And I'm already planning to go hunting once the season opens for the year 2020 to 2021. Nice. But for my show and tell, this is not the one I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about this one. This little bad boy over here. Which is another 686 Smith & Wesson. 686 plus, seven shot revolver. A snobby, three inch. Nice! Oh yeah, loaded man, loaded. Ooh so since it's loaded and it just got out of the holster I'm just gonna make sure that it's safe by unloading it as you can see the cylinder holes it's empty double triple check okay background story I got this gun for like, i say three years ago. And I got it for my wife. And I'm contemplating of getting her an auto or semi-auto or a revolver. And I went to get her this gun. So why a revolver and why the three inch barrel? Well first, the revolver is very easy to operate. There's no safety to pumble about. There's no uh, rack that she has to manipulate to load it. All you gotta do is just pull the trigger like so. Point and shoot. So that's one of the reason is simplicity of use. And another one of the advantages is the weight. Because of the weight, Whenever you load this with a 30 inch special, it's actually uh, manageable. The recoil is more manageable, especially for uh, all ladies out there. The weight actually is kind of like one of the things that she don't like, but when she st started shooting it, uh, she learned to love it more. So why the three inch barrel? The three inch barrel, the way I see it is the perfect length for defensive use. Uh, whenever I'm not home, she can use this for uh, home defense. And the three inch barrel would give her enough leverage to move around and also would not lose that much power compared to the four inch and the five inch. Three inch, I guess, is the perfect balance. And it gives you the full ejector rod full length ejector rod so whenever she needs to uh, reload or unload the empty casings all you got to do is press this like this and everything drops so the two inch you know it has a the two inch barrels the snub nose it has a shorter ejector rods only up to here another point uh, for this gun is the seven round capacity in the cylinder you can load seven not like the smaller revolvers like the J-Frames, you can only load five. And since this is a 357, um, she can shoot 357 or even the 38 Special all day long. And it's gonna last forever. It's sturdy since it's designed for a Magnum load and she'll be shooting 38 Specials. So that's another advantage. The recoil is tamed by these rubber grips. So even if she shoots the 357, it doesn't hurt her hands as much. And I think it's just right.
also the choices of ammo that she can use. If you want penetration, you can shoot jacketed uh, sub point or full metal jacket. And also, of course, the jacketed hollow points for expansion. This is the 38 special critical defense, another option. And for snakes or other barmaids, she can use these shots. It's available also, these shots are also available for any other calibers, but for reliability, nothing beats a revolver. Let's say it didn't go off, all you gotta do is pull the trigger again and it will go bang. See, there's a lot of like uh, pellets inside. Now with all those advantages and uh, features of this revolver that actually made me uh, buy it for her, the plus is also the looks and the additional plus i guess that's why they called it 686 plus not just because of the plus one in the shots but also so many pluses about the advantages and benefits the looks is a plus always a plus and now, time to polish it before returning it to the gun cabinet. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> now, for the proper ending of my story of this show and tell, how it ended back in my possession, when I bought that CP365 10 rounds capacity 9mm for concealed carry, she shot it and she loves it. So she said she don't want this heavy piece no more and she gave it back to me. So now she is more proficient in shooting and understand more the basics of marksmanship. She opted to get that striker fired P365 by SIG. So now it's mine again. The three inch barrel and the seven inches. Three and seven. All I'm missing now is the five to complete it as a three, five, seven collection. Wish me luck, y'all. Wish you out. Today's a good day. And for quick tips on how to obtain your firearms for a working man like me who works 40 hours a week or more it's harder to buy a firearm like this because we have bills to pay so how do i purchase this stuff i usually go to pawn shops your local pawn shops especially the ones who sells brand new uh firearms revolvers or hunting rifles why the pawn shops usually this a thing that maybe a lot of people already know uh, you can get them on a layaway uh, on the pawn shop where I go you can uh, obtain a revolver or a handgun and put it on layaway for six months so that's a lot of uh, payments I understand but we have no cash money so that's how I get them that's why I said the five inch barrel probably will take a year because I just got this one you know I need to have a little bit of rest and that's where how I get them so while I'm making this video uh, my firebox died on me so I have to add more, more wood chips it's my day off and I can't go anywhere, I can't go to the range because of the lockdown. So, you already know, it's smoking! Push out! Ribs and sausages! I'm trying to smoke a little bit more than enough so I can share it with my friend, my neighbor over there
Today's a good day. Now back to the video. It's Will Gun Wednesday. Now a proper shout out to uh, Mr. Quick Dubs who's asking me about this uh, wristwatch that I've been wearing. This is the Formula One by Tag Hoyer. And same thing, just like a lot of my purchases, I got it on installment or layaway. Probably seven years ago. And it's been in my wrist since then. I don't wear anything else. This is the only watch that I have. Red and black contrast. Easy to match with anything that you're wearing. All right, Mr. Quick Dubs. Always think safety. Who's she?